All right, sisters and Oval fans. Uh, yesterday, somebody sent me a link to this article um, from MediaTraffic.com. I will leave a link in the comment section below. Uh, <laughs> let me just say, this video won't be long, but somebody wanted my thoughts on this. It says, should BET do a Sisters and the Oval crossover episode? BET's hit shows right now are definitely Sisters and the Oval. Look, the ratings don't lie. That's a fact. The two shows are the only two currently that can crack over a million views an episode on the network, as well as the only two with huge fan pages all over social media. Correct. Um, like, for example, the Sisters Facebook group I started is over 257, uh, 257,000 members by itself. And the Oval page, I believe, is up there, too, with like 20 or 40,000 people on there as well. But uh, crossover episodes usually do well on a channel when popular shows come together and result in the show seeing an increase in ratings after the crossover. Do you think BET should consider a crossover episode? What should be the plot of it? Let us know what you think. No. Um, I do, I don't think these shows need to cross over. This isn't like, um, the haves and the have nots and if loving you is wrong, where the genres are pretty much the same. It's just different characters and how Tyler Perry tells the stories. There really is no need for these two shows to cross over. The closest thing to a crossover, I think that would make sense is if let's say, one of the characters on Sisters in passing makes a reference to President Hunter or we see a news report in the background or something that's mentioning the current administration. And that's as far as I would even go. There really is no need because these two shows are so different. Not to mention, if Hunter saw any of the Sisters... This dude would lose his damn mind. We know he has a chocolate fetish, so to speak. So, Andy, Karen, Danny, Sabrina, Fatima, he would lose his mind. So, I <laughs> no that, I mean, it would be cool to, let's say, if um Andy gets taken away by the president and we got Sharon and, you know, then you see, like, the likes of Gary and Kareem teaming up, you know, toxic lovers who want to beat the hell out of anybody that touches their woman hey but no i don't think there's a need. no there's just no we, we we don't need it um the shows don't need it trust and believe i get it though i've done so many videos in the past about how have and have not if loving you is wrong could cross over you know making comparisons to like you know the cw's Arrowverse, where shows like the flash and supergirl the crossover I'm talking about the early crossovers, not, you know, recent years like Crisis and Elseworlds, where obviously crossovers have been a normal thing for over half a decade at this point. But yes, you would see some audiences of one show watching the show that's being crossed over because they haven't really watched it before. So obviously Supergirl fans will watch The Flash and then vice versa. Or in this case, you might have Sisters fans watching The Oval but like I said, these shows are just so different. I'm not saying a crossover could not work. I could probably think of at least seven different ways a crossover could in theory make sense. But the Oval takes place in at, um, DC while Sisters takes place in Atlanta. That's not to say the president couldn't make a visit down to Atlanta for this reason or that reason. What if the vice president, I mean, excuse me, what if the first lady's making a trip or something? Who knows what she's going down there for? Maybe to make a special appearance? Perhaps she goes to Karen's salon to get her hair done. Maybe she needs legal help. I don't know. She'd go to the law firm where Andy works at. There are just so many ways a crossover, in theory, could work. But, I mean, hell, remember, uh, Danny works at an airport. Maybe the presidential um, jet or plane or whatever has to make a landing there, and that's how Danny meets the president. You just never know. So, again, I could think of various ways a crossover could happen, but does it need to happen? Nah, doesn't really need to. Just my opinion. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I I'm more inclined to believe the shows with lower ratings on the network could use crossover ideas. But 
sisters in the oval they're doing just fine the way that they are separate but on the same network from the same creator filmed on the same lot that's all i got thanks so much for tuning in like i said before i will leave a link to the article in the comment section um as always like and subscribe hit that bell icon and select all because why the hell would you want to miss out when i post content seriously guys it's it's coming like tyler perry studios pumps out content i got a lot of stuff to record today but by itself just today um follow me on social media links are in the description below and if you want to donate to the channel feel free to do so on paypal or cash app